Good morning and welcome to the Artist Alley Studio Vlog. I'm the Gypsy and you're not. Today I'm going to talk to you about artistic integrity. Now when I say artistic integrity, I'm not talking about the type of work that somebody does or whether it's good work, whether it's bad work. What I'm talking about is what they present to you as their portfolio. I've had a lot of instances in my career where I've had to fix up a tattoo that someone else had done. Um, fix it up, cover it up, whatever, but the person had a really, really bad tattoo on them. And nine times out of ten I hear the same thing. Well, I saw pictures of their work and it looked good. True. Maybe you did see pictures of tattoo photographs, but it don't necessarily mean it was their tattoo photographs. It's real easy to go onto the internet and copy off somebody else's work and put it into a notebook and show somebody and say, hey, I did this tattoo. And then you sit down and you get a tattoo by this person and <clears throat> tattoo don't look anything like the type of work that they showed you. Why? Because, like I said, it's easy to go onto the internet, copy somebody else's work, and present it as your own. Best example that I can give of this, um, an instance that happened in my studio when I was down southeast Kansas, I had this young lady come in and she had a horrendous tattoo on her bicep. It was really, really bad. And she's like, Gypsy, I, he, he showed me examples of his work. I said, seriously? She said, yeah. And he's got a Facebook page, and he's out of Burlesville, Oklahoma, and they have a studio down there. And, you know, I, I looked at his Facebook page, and, you know, oh, the work looked really good. And so I thought, well, what the heck? You know, I'll let him work on me. I said, well, I said, don't necessarily mean it was his work. So anyway, we got the lady fixed up, got her taken care of. I ended up covering up the really bad piece of art that she had on her. And then I went to the studio's Facebook page and I got to looking at this guy's work. And as I'm going down through the work, I noticed that it wasn't consistent, that there was no consistency involved in this, in this guy's tattooing at all. Well, then I thought, well, that's odd. Let me look a little bit further through his portfolio. And it wasn't long before I came across a tattoo that was done by a friend of mine. Now, how do I know this tattoo was done by a friend of mine? Because I was sitting there when that tattoo was done. So I picked up the phone and I called my buddy out in Las Vegas and I said, Hey, I went to such and such studio's website. Uh, their artist has a portfolio up there and he has a piece in there that you did. He said, seriously? I said, yeah. So I gave him the website. Later on that day, my friend called me from Las Vegas and informed me that he had found several other pieces in this guy's portfolio done by artists that he personally knew. And he informed the guy that he better take down that portfolio and do it really, really quick because he was contacting everybody and letting them know that this guy had plagiarized their work. And that's what it is. It's plagiarism. If you copy a photo off the internet of a tattoo that someone else has done and you stick it in your portfolio and say, hey, this is mine, that's plagiarism. So how can you be confident that when you look at somebody's portfolio, you're actually looking at work that they did? Well, it's really, really simple. All artists, all artists have their style. My style's different from Joe Blow's style. Joe Blow's different from Jane Doe's style. Jane Doe's different from John Doe's style. And John Doe's style is different from my style. We all have a style of art that we do. I'm an old school tattooist. So my tattoo art is old school based. When you see my work, it is very old school based. It's not gonna look the same as somebody else's. I have my style, they have theirs. So when you look through the portfolio, look for consistency. Do the tattoo photographs 
appear to have the same sort of artistic style as each other going down. From the most earliest work that's on display to the newest stuff, is this the same style? You would never confuse a Van Gogh with a Michelangelo. You would never confuse a Michelangelo with a Salvador Dali. So make sure that you don't confuse your artist work with someone else's. When in doubt, when in doubt, as to whether somebody's work is actually their own, especially if you're seeing it in a portfolio on the internet, do a Google search for the image. See where that image comes up at. If you're seeing that image someplace other than that artist's portfolio or on a client that that artist worked on, if you're seeing it coming out of another studio, chances are it's not that artist's work. It is really that simple to make sure that the tattoo artist that you pick out has artistic integrity. I will tell you, if you discover that they are plagiarizing someone else's work, you really should let that someone else know. But even if you don't let them know, I definitely would not be getting tattoo work done by that person. I would find someone else, someone else that has artistic integrity that's actually displaying for you, the client, their actual tattoo work so that you know what you're getting into and so that you know if that is the style of tattoo that you want. My style of art is not going to be pleasurable to everyone. Not everyone's going to want my style of art. Likewise, not everyone's going to want someone else's style of art. That's why you need to make sure that when you look at a portfolio, it's actually the work of that artist that you're going to get the tattoo from. That way you know if that is the artist and if that is the style of tattoo art you want to carry on your body forever. Because remember, nothing is forever except diamonds, death, tattoo, and God. So with that being said, I am going to end this little session of the Artist Alley Studio blog. What I would like you to do until we speak again is to stay safe, stay healthy, and make sure that you get the art that you want and that you deserve. I'm going to shut the magic machine off now. We'll see you soon. Hasta la vista, baby.